Well, howdy folks, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Whistle Wednesdays. Today, we're gonna make a death whistle. Now, real quick, uh, if you're not sure what that is, I done a video about this right here a while back. This is an Aztec death whistle and this one I actually bought from a small family owned shop and they are actually Aztec descent. And so this one's made kind of the traditional way. But the idea is when you blow into these, they make a terrifying sound that sounds like wind and screaming. I'll show you. I never did a video about this one, but I also got one of these here. This is a 3D printed version. And um, you can find these in a lot of different places. You can download the, uh, the plans for free if you have a 3D printer, but there's a lot of people printing these and selling them. So I was like, you know, can I make one of these? Cause this would be a fun thing to make for Whistle Wednesdays. Well, I found these plans out there and I'll go ahead and put them on the screen that someone had come up with basically to, to improvise a death whistle. So first of all, I've got this little, this is a scrap of sink tube. If you've ever done a, you know, a repair, put in a new sink or something, you know, you gotta get those sink tube kits. This is uh, just a scrap that was trimmed off, but I think this is gonna work perfect for the tube part. And then I found this also in my plumbing box. This is a cap, a PVC cap for a three quarter inch piece of PVC. And I think this is gonna work perfect for the little reservoir, the sound reservoir. And then you need something, you know, to make a hole on top of it. I found this fender washer and it's a one and a quarter by one quarter if you're curious. And it fits really well on top of this. So I think that's gonna make our little like uh, kind of sound reservoir in there. And then this will go here. And then all we need is something to blow through. Well, I found this, this is a little piece of uh, quarter inch copper pipe. And uh, you know, this one's like a, what, like a four inch piece and it's threaded on both ends. It doesn't really need to be threaded. It's just, you know, something you could substitute a straw. And that's like the thing about this. You could substitute really anything. If you didn't have a piece of sink tube, you could use like a toilet paper tube. Um, if you didn't have like a PVC cap like this, you could use like a bottle cap. I mean, that's the whole thing about this is you can kind of just use whatever you have on hand. If you didn't have a washer, you could find anything that's made of plastic or metal and drill a hole through it. Bam. Let's go down to the workshop and see if we can make this happen. Okay, so here we go, folks. Here is the completed project. And as you can notice, this is still kind of loosey-goosey, but I think that's okay because I'm not sure what angle this is supposed to be at or how far in it should be. So I think this will give me the chance to sort of adjust it. And um, then, you know, once I find the sweet spot, I could probably put a piece of tape around it or something so it doesn't move. But I'm going to assume if I look through it this way, I'm going to assume I want to see the hole in the washer through the uh through the blow tube here i don't know i've never done this before but okay that looks fairly lined up let's try this that wasn't too bad it's a little bit breathy but that's actually pretty good that doesn't sound too bad. I can definitely hear a little bit of a shriek in there. It certainly isn't as good as the, you know, made for purpose um, death whistles, but it does sort of deliver the idea. So I think if you played with this a little more and really, you know, got the, the angle right, you could probably get it pretty close. So I uh, just wanted to point out, I'm wearing the my resonance space shirt. This is for my friend Barry that passed away recently. I did a video about that and uh, his family actually had these shirts made and sent them to me. So. Very cool, glad to wear it, and I'll always wear it with pride. 
But uh, anyway, if you like what I do on this channel, I'd really appreciate it if you would hit that subscribe button for me. If you like Whistle Wednesdays, give it a thumbs up. See you soon.